Once you've been cooking on your, your cooktop and you feel like you're ready to try baking, one of the easiest ways to begin is to pick a food that would be easy to prepare, such as potatoes. Baking potatoes is one of the easiest things to do in your wood cook stove because it's hard to burn a potato. And if your oven isn't hot enough, then the potatoes will just take a little bit longer. They also don't need a lot of watching or a lot of turning or a lot of attention. Um, if you have your oven to temperature, your baked potatoes should take about the same time in your wood cook stove oven as they would in a conventional oven, and that's about an hour to an hour and a half. And all I would probably do in the course of that hour and a half is to just peek at them once or twice and turn them like this because the back side of my oven and the right side of my oven might be a little bit hotter than the other two sides. Back in they go. Most cook, cook stove ovens can accommodate four to even eight loaves of bread very comfortably. And in we go. You can see I have an oven thermometer to help me monitor the oven temperature so I can watch the bread. And we'll be back in about 10 minutes to check our bread because we'll probably want to turn it because most of the heat is going to be on the right side of the oven as well as the back side of the oven. And so to get a nice evenly baked loaf of bread, we're going to want to turn it. So I'm going to go set the oven timer and we'll check it in 10 more minutes. Well, our 10 minutes is up and it's time to check our bread and it's also time to probably rotate the bread so that it cooks evenly. Because as I mentioned before, a wood cook stove oven tends to have some hotter sides and warmer sides. So I'm just going to rotate the bread. I'm going to put the bread on the right to the left and I'm going to turn it around. As you can see, this side is starting to brown more than the other and so we want it to bake evenly. And I'm going to do the same with this. I'm going to turn it around. We've got some beautifully big bread. Back in it goes and then we'll time it for, for about another 10 minutes to 15 minutes and we'll check it. May I mention at this time, when you rotate your bread or anything else you're baking, it's a good time to come around to the firebox side and to check the status of your fire. I have the advantage on my wood cook stove that it has a high temperature glass door where I can just peek in and see that my fire is doing just fine, there's plenty of wood, and it will maintain perfect heat to finish out the baking of my bread. But if you didn't have that glass in the door, as other stoves don't, you would want to open up your drafts and actually look inside and see how your fire is doing. And then adjust the drafts according to what your needs are for heat. It's so important when, with baking to maintain a steady, even fire, even more so than the cooktop so that your pastries, your breads, your pies, whatever it is you're cooking, your cakes, cook evenly and you don't have suddenly a very hot fire that will burn them before they're done and you, or you don't have a, a too low a fire where they're not getting cooked all the way through the middle. We'll come back in 10 minutes and check the status of our bread. All right, let's, time's done and let's check our bread and see how we did. Sure looks done. There we are. That is one big loaf of bread. And may I add, ladies, that don't be discouraged if when you first start baking in your wood cook stove oven that your bread isn't this large, or if it's a little dark brown on one side, maybe even burnt, or even if it's undercooked. It takes experience and, and time to learn. <clears throat> Let's take it out of the pan so it can cool. I always check the bottom. I think we've got a pretty good loaf of bread. It looks like it's completely cooked through, even as large of a loaf as these are. And this is one of the things that is probably the hardest job for a wood cook stove to accomplish 
<clears throat> it can cook very well the top part of your bread or whatever it is you're baking. It's that bottom that needs to be really cooked thoroughly because, again, the heat is on the side and in the back. We're on a conventional oven, your heat comes from the bottom. There's no problem getting the bottom of bread to bake in a conventional oven, but in a wood cook stove oven, that's where the challenges are. The left side as well as the bottom. And it looks like we've got some nice bread. Here's one more example of what your wood cook stove can cook for your family. Beautiful pies.